The Great War was a long conflict that shattered the world beyond anyone's wildest dreams. When it finally ends, after countless deaths and unspeakable horrors, governments around the world shift their focus to shadow wars, in which spies take the lead in covert information warfare. Klaus is a gifted man who some consider to be the greatest spy in the world. He is tasked with teaching a group of washout aspiring spies and preparing them for impossible missions, where the mortality rate for even the best spies can be as high as 90%. Some of the girls who come under his wing to begin their training are Lily, Monica, Thea, Sibylla, Sarah, and Sibylla. Nonetheless, despite his enormous talent and experience, Klaus proves to be a terrible teacher who is incapable of explaining his methods. The motley crew of new recruits is then informed that they will be known as Lamplight from now on, and Klaus will be their boss. They only have a month to prepare for their first mission. When they consider the challenge and the fact that Klaus is a terrible teacher, the Lamplight members begin to suspect that they are just pawns being grouped together to be used in a covert mission. Lily is unwilling to accept such a fate, so the next day he goes to the market with Klaus with a sinister plan in mind. Klaus and Lily spend the day exploring the city before heading to Amai Lake, the region's most popular tourist attraction. Because it is so crowded, there is only one boat left for them to use. As they enjoy the beautiful natural scenery, Klaus advises Lily to never forget the smiles of he people on the streets that day and addresses the long-term effects of the Great War, which have caused so much pain. While Lily appears to sympathize with others' suffering, she asks her boss if this implies that she should agree to become nothing more than a pawn. She then goes on to discuss her childhood dream of becoming a spy. After paralyzing Klaus's entire body, she suddenly uses poisonous gas on him. Lily then explains that she survived the Great War due to her abnormal physiology, which prevents poison from working on her. The fact that she was rescued by a spy was the initial impetus for her to become one herself. Lily claims that she will not let herself die without achieving her goals. She demands that Klaus disband Lamplight and hire all of the members of other spy teams. After patiently listening to her, Klaus reveals that he had predicted this would happen, and Lily's feet are suddenly bound by shackles protruding from the side of the boat. As the water slowly drowns the boat, Klaus asks Lily for the antidote so that the paralysis effect will wear off and he can free her. However, it turns out that she had left the antidote in her room. Because the water is slowly drowning the boat, the duo has only five minutes to act. Because Klaus is unable to move, he instructs Lily to paddle as if her life depends on it. Lily instinctively follows his advice, and the two manage to save themselves. After Klaus and Lily save themselves, Lamplight's boss decides that the latter will make an excellent leader for the group. While Lily cannot believe it, it appears that Klaus sees a lot of potential in her. The next day, Klaus convenes a small gathering with Lamplight to clarify that they are not merely pawns to be slaughtered after their training. He apologizes for his poor teaching methods and promises that the impossible mission will be completed without any casualties. Klaus then reveals that he wants the young spies to try to defeat him in order for them to improve their ability. Klaus appears to have realized that his theoretical technique methods are useless, wishes to provide the new recruits with practical experience instead. In the second episode, Klaus decides to change his teaching methods after realizing he is not a good communicator and instead focus on giving the girls hands on experience as spies. He challenges them to force him to surrender in the next 30 days by any means necessary. After he dismisses the class, the girls discuss how it is not uncommon for spies to use dirty tactics to accomplish their objectives. They are justified in using any trick to force Klaus to surrender because he is so experienced. The Lamplight members begin doing so the next day. They try to ambush him, attack him while he is sleeping, and even attack him while he is taking a shower. All of their attempts, however, fail because Klaus is simply too good a spy. Klaus meets with his mentor Guido one day. The two of them talk about the former's recent loss and the challenges that lie ahead of him. When he finally returns to the mansion, the Lamplight members attempt another ambush, but he easily outwits them. Klaus then reveals to the aspiring spies that he was once a member of Inferno, one of the Din Republic's most powerful spy organizations. Unfortunately, he lost all of his companions when they set out to complete an impossible mission without him. Klaus then informs the Lamplight members that if they are afraid, they can refuse to participate in the mission. To his surprise, however, every girl on the team agrees to participate in the assignment. Klaus and Lamplight members arrive in the Galket Empire a few weeks later. Their first mission is to gather information about Indai Laboratory, a hidden location on the outskirts of the Imperial capital where the army conducts covert experiments. In the days that follow, they conduct so much research that even Klaus is surprised. After the Great War, an international treaty prohibited the use of biological weapons. While this should have meant that developing such weapons was no longer legal, the Din Republic's army generals believed that they could at least research and develop them. 
Their most likely defense was that they were doing nothing wrong as long as biological weapons were not used. Unfortunately, a Galgut spy learned about this research and successfully stole some samples created after extensive research. The researchers working on the project estimate that the Galgut Empire will need at least a year to analyze the compound. However, there have recently been reports that they are making much faster progress than expected. This is bad news because it could eventually result in the deaths of millions of innocent people. The mission to recover the bioweapon is critical because the Galgut Empire does not mind doing it. Surprisingly, this bioweapon is actually a killer virus called the Abyss Doll. The Galgut Empire, on the other hand, is a key participant in the Shadow War and has many other ways to get involved besides developing the bioweapon. They've been invading the Din Republic since the peace treaty was signed and they're not afraid to use dirty tricks to gain an advantage. In fact, even during the Great War, they were ruthless, killing countless innocent people, many of whom were Din Republic citizens. The Galgut Empire's attempt to obtain biological weapons is bad news now that they can't be openly ruthless. Alright my weebs, that's it for today's anime recap. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell, so you won't miss out on our next video. Drop a comment and let us what you think about the anime. Stay tuned, stay epic.